special bond between two unlikely friends is flourishing inside a Bucks County bike shop. Our Anita O has the story of these two buddies and their friendship that became an unexpected form of healing. At this basement repair shop in Bucks County, they take apart old bikes and build them back up. What no one saw coming was the unique friendship that would also be created in the process. It's very, very hard. Yeah, it's very, very hard. It hasn't always been easy for 11-year-old Sean Kane to connect with others. Stevie got it all right. He lives and studies at Woods Services, an organization that serves those with special needs and other challenges. There you go. Good job. But when he saw maintenance worker Steve Smalley fixing things around campus, his fascination peaked. And the wheels started turning. He had a pedal spins without turning it. Steve found a way to cultivate the boy's interest in technical skills by inviting him to work side by side at the bike repair shop every Wednesday. I just thought he would slip through the crack if I didn't do something. The unlikely bond became an unexpected form of healing. My son Sean was kind of like this Sean. Wasn't really good at in academics, but loved to watch me work and do work himself. Eight years ago, Steve's son died in a tragic car accident. I miss him horribly, but having Sean keeps me uh, in that mode, you know, father mode. He calls this a gift, one made even more special because his late son's name is also Sean. And when I found out his name, I was like, wow, th this is crazy. The organization has a sprawling 300 acre campus and serves more than 675 people. So whatever brought Steve and Sean together is unlikely, but it's just as perfect of a union as the parts on a bicycle. It was Amazing. divine intervention, I guess. In tragedy, he found a form of therapy and a lesson. Never feel so lost in the woods that you miss the new path forging in front of you. He's my favorite maintenance guy. In Langhorn, Anita O. Hashtag Aeropalm. What do you do? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> CBS 3 Eyewitness oh News.